This is a stimulus and social security update. Got some important update to share with you. President Biden comes out with a new proposal which could cut the deficit by three trillion. In that proposal, there could be a restart of monthly payments going out to certain Americans. I'll let you know what the Republicans are saying about that. Social security could be cut by 20% if the debt limit is reached fully. I'll let you know what Republicans are saying about social security. While most of them are saying they are not going to touch it, others are saying that the age should be bumped up as well as a few other things and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Well, I am back. Thanks for your patience. I went to Colorado for a couple of weeks with my family. Uh, here are some pictures and videos right here. I uh, just need to take a little break. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, thanks for watching this one too. If you want to see more pictures, more details about our trip and how my four-year-old learned how to snowboard, uh, I'll show all that later on in the video. But first, uh, Biden budget would cut deficit by $3 trillion over the next decade with 25% minimum tax on richest Americans. So Biden's budget would also raise more revenue by increasing taxes on oil and gas companies, hiking the corporate tax rates to 20% from 21% and allow Medicare to negotiate drugs. The president's spending priorities include increasing funding for early childhood education, child care, expanding the $35 cap on insulin prices for all Americans, and expanding expanding free community college. The budget also boosts military spending to more than $835 billion, making it among the largest peacetime expenditures in U.S. history. And Biden still faces unresolved standoff with Republicans over whether to lift the debt ceiling. So since I've been gone, about two weeks, uh, longest break I've ever taken from this channel, uh, seems like not much has changed. A lot of talk not much action. So picking up uh, where I left off, there really hasn't been much of a difference. Uh, just a lot of proposals, a lot of talk, uh, but I don't see these politicians doing a lot for the American people as usual. So stimulus update, these monthly payments would restart under Biden plan. So uh, an expansion of the child tax credit, including restoration of monthly payments of up to $300 are part of President Joe Biden's fiscal 2024 budget proposal, which means that we could see those monthly child tax cre credits come back. Although I don't see Republicans getting on board with that. So even though it is in the plan, uh, this plan is definitely going to be cut back, especially since now we have a split Congress between the Democrats and Republicans. When it comes to Social Security, the government may stop issuing Social Security payments after the debt limit is hit. Here is why. Uh, so there's a very real possibility the government will stop issuing Social Security payments after the debt limit is hit. Scary as that prospect is, however, the alternative might be even worse. A little-known provision of a 1996 law could be interpreted to allow Social Security Trust Fund to be used not only to pay, uh, pay Social Security's monthly checks, but also to circumvent debt limit and pay all government's otherwise overdue bills. If that happens, any short-term relief to Social Security recipients would come with potentially huge long-term price tag. The Social Security Trust Fund could be exhausted much sooner than currently projected in just a couple of years, in fact. So according to this law from 1996, supposedly the government has the power to, instead of paying out Social Security checks, could be used to pay off the debt. I don't think that's going to happen, but it's kind of scary to find out that there is a law that has that in place, uh, I guess as a worst case scenario. Also here, not touching Social Security could lead to 20% benefit cut within a decade. Uh, so uh, President Biden and House Republicans have promised not to touch Social Security in their battle over cutting spending to address the nation's debt crisis. Uh, while that vow is intended to indicate support of the, uh, the popular entitlement program, it could actually lead to financial disaster. Uh, so tens of millions of senior citizens and other recipients could see their benefits slashed by at least 20% within a decade. The latest Congressional Budget Office projection found that Social Security Retirement Trust Fund would be exhausted by 2032. So less than 10 years uh, could be 
gone, and I guess there could be a cut of 20%. Haven't really heard that said by anyone else, although Social Security is a very hot topic by now. From the Republican standpoint, Republican Senator Kennedy says Biden decided to demagogue the issue of Social Security and Medicare. Uh, so Senator John Kennedy blamed President Biden for what he called the politicization of Social Security and Medicare during his State of the Union address last month. Kennedy said uh, what he said is Medicare faces financial trouble as soon as 2028, with the same going for Social Security in 2035, and that lawmakers need to discuss the issue of making both prop programs solvent. He then blamed Biden for bringing GOP suggestions to look at both programs as a way to balance the federal budget to the forefront during his address. So I guess uh, Senator Kennedy saying that it wasn't a good idea for President Biden to bring it up, saying that Republicans wanted to cut it. Although, in honesty, there were certain Republicans who said that they wanted to make changes to Social Security, not necessarily cut it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's a whole Republican issue at the moment, but some Republicans are speaking out against it. For example, a GOP lawmaker says U.S. should consider raising retirement age for future Social Security beneficiaries. Uh, this is from Republican Representative Nancy Mace of South Carolina, saying that raising retirement age for future Social Security beneficiaries should be on the table as long as it doesn't affect anybody that's heading into retirement now. So this would more or less affect someone like me, someone in my 30s, where later I would have to be older and before I could collect Social Security. So if you're on Social Security, this type of thing won't affect you now. Uh, and then when it comes to the economy overall, uh, Goldman Sachs no longer expects Fed to hike rates in March, cites stress on banking system. So in light of stress in banking system, we no longer expect the FOMC to deliver a rate hike uh, at its next meeting on March 22nd. So uh, soon we're going to hear whether or not the rates are going to be hiked. It doesn't look like it will be. Uh, we're not hearing anything. It could be a month where there's not much of a rate hike. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Belle's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Belle. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you something that you should do. So every time you make mistakes, you 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 make mistakes, and it, and you only have one life. So clean those up and make a new world. And also what you should do is you should always be passionate what you with what you have because that because that next time it will be there because that and but still you'll be there. So you guys are great and good and learn by your mistakes. So, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Uh, it feels good to be back. I must admit that I did miss doing it. Uh, when I was in Colorado, I didn't have my equipment with me. I just wanted to focus on the family. We spent the mornings uh, waking up, having breakfast together, which is a rare thing because most of these videos I make for you, I, I sacrifice time with my family in the morning. Uh, so I just really wanted to enjoy that family time, especially uh, going on a trip to Colorado. Then all four of us went snowboarding. So me, my wife, my nine-year-old daughter, Bella, and also uh, my four-year-old daughter, Kalea, which I taught from scratch how to snowboard. Uh, started off holding her, then with a leash, then kind of letting her go a little bit. And by the end of the trip, she was snowboarding on her own down the mountain, uh, mainly on her heel side, kind of like moving forward. Uh, so that was awesome. So all four of us got to ride down Colorado Mountain uh, together. We went to uh, uh, Winter Park and Steamboat. Uh, so yeah, it was it was an amazing trip. Had a really good time. Went to some hot springs as well. Uh, so it was fun. It was good to have some good quality family time. But I am back and I'm looking forward to doing more daily videos. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other videos, you can click right up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.